facts without fear. We are the American people. We are the home of the brave, land of the free. This is important. Now, as written, the bill, scary. It is scary. Top $6 trillion. Four of that trillion dollars is money. That money's for liquidity from the Federal Reserve. In other words, loans from the federal government. Two trillion, new spending. A lot of money. A lot of people need help. I'll explain in a second. That includes direct funding, federal payouts to American workers. They desperately need it. We, this has gone on too long. They are struggling through no fault of their own. Workers, small businesses, and even, even entire industries now need our help. And now help, hopefully, will be on the way without these delays. Now, this bill also provides much-needed financial relief for small businesses, the heart and soul of our business industry in the country, and even large industries who are on the brink of collapse, their businesses wiped out temporarily. And with that said, let me say this to all you Democrats and Republicans in Washington. I don't trust anything that you do. Any waste, any fraud, any abuse, any corruption, any givebacks, any pork, any special benefits for CEOs, stock buybacks, we will be calling all of you out by name and holding all of you accountable. With this crisis, every single penny that we put forward needs to go to the American workers that are impacted, small businesses and the businesses that are larger impacted by the virus. For days, we have now been watching a shift show the radical socialist Democrats at their absolute worst. This has been repulsive. This important legislation now has been blocked for days by these radical leftists, hurting workers, hurting business, hurting people that need help. Pelosi, Schumer, and company decided this would be the perfect time to play dirty political games. They wanted to take advantage of a deadly virus, use that to push their radical leftist socialist agenda, including bucket loads of wasteful, unrelated spending proposals, many of which can be found in Ocasio-Cortez's new Green Deal insanity. Look at your screen. This is Nancy Pelosi. This is what Nancy Pelosi has been fighting for, her wish list, including tax credits for wind and solar power, strict new regulations against the already struggling airline industry. Why don't we just kick them in the teeth while they're struggling, including mandatory emissions reductions for airplanes, mandatory reporting of their greenhouse gas emissions statistics for individual flights. Kick the airline industry in the teeth when they are down. It is despicable what they are doing. That's not all. The socialist wish list also proposes $35 million. This will make every American worker that's struggling to make their rent or their mortgage payment or their car payment wondering if they're going to be able to send their kids to college. Oh, yeah, they want to put the Kennedy Performing Arts, $35 million for that. They want to fix that up. Really? That's what the delay is about? Because in a time like this, Pelosi really needs her favorite opera house so she can stay in tip-top emotional shape. And then there's more. Pelosi demanding new protections for illegal immigrants. Is this the time? The automatic extension of non-immigrant visas, sweeping new collective bargaining powers for their big donors, the unions, racial diversity quotas on the quotas on the boards of major companies, elimination of student debt, new mandate requiring states to allow same-day voter registration. Oh, how are we going to check that out? And get this, Pelosi wants to bring back the Obama phone once she thought it was done and gone. That's right, her bill includes federal subsidies for cell phones. Now, what does any of this have to do with coronavirus? You might ask that question. The answer is absolutely nothing. Suffering Americans have been waiting the whole time in this crisis, and this is how they act and what they do? Every American should be disgusted tonight. Three long years, hate Trump, and do nothing else, nothing to make us more safe, secure, prosperous, nothing, nothing to create a job. Do any of these radical socialist proposals, are they going to get paychecks to restaurant workers, small business uh, owners, and, and those employees, or anyone else suffering? Not a thing. At a time when Americans actually could use their government stepping up to work for and serve we, the people, they're supposed to be public servants, well, they're getting the middle finger from Washington. A national disgrace unfolding tonight. Take a look. We saw the Speaker of the House release an encyclopedia of unrelated demands as though it were a coronavirus proposal somehow. Democrats 
have been delaying a major relief bill in hopes that they can include a laundry list of their pet projects, projects that have absolutely nothing to do with providing financial relief to Americans. I honestly cannot believe we are still here not having already passed legislation that would make such a big difference. I have never been more disgusted since Kavanaugh. Let's get this straight. The American people paid to, we paid to rebuild Europe after World War II. We continue to send constant billions and billions of dollars in international aid all over the world. We defeated Nazism, fascism, communism, uh, and more recently, radic uh, radical Islamic terrorism. We've saved the world and paid the highest price from evil again and again and gotten through a number of other conflicts and pandemics and depression. But now Congress can't get paychecks to the American people in need at this hour because Nancy Pelosi wants more windmills and carbon offsets. Just like the last three years, what they are doing is hurting the country. And thankfully tonight, despite the sh shameful actions from Pelosi, Schumer, Radical socialist, economic relief. Hopefully, we're going to find out they're supposed to be back in session any minute now. We'll be on the way.